fizzing out right now. I gotta it hurry home. Not, it is not my Well, it's the start of another day. Gotta get my tire fixed somehow. I'm taking old Red out. Gotta get the dust off of her. She'll get it done though. I feel like a kid again driving around in the old Chevy putting $5 of gas in. Cause you can go a long ways for $5 in gas now. Probably at least 20 miles. Because I only drive this truck every once in a while so five bucks it is. Well, while I was filming this, I accidentally filled the truck up with gas instead of $5. Bummer. That roar of American muscle, you know, 350 with dual exhaust with a four barrel carburetor getting on it. That sounds just awesome. Loved it ever since I was like 15 years old. I'll tell you, there's no better sound than American Thunder, baby. All right, so I'm trying to make this one quick. All right, and Heidi. Is trying to help me so I'm going fishing this afternoon so I'm meeting Danny out at the beach at like 1230 and I'm trying to do this video before I leave because I got to keep up my daily routine Belle is also coming over here she wants to be in the picture but I had to show with you what I think is the key to the session all right because as you know you can't redo the batteries right like you can't change the batteries out but I found some pocket juice, all right? You know, these are these little stored juice uh, deposit, or just, they're, they're little, like basically batteries for your pocket. So you can recharge your phone or your GoPro on the run with these. This is a 2000, uh, was it milliamp hour, M-A-H, and uh, the GoPro session battery is only like 1,080. So I'm guessing this will charge at like one, 1.5 times so like one time and a half or one time and a little more before it runs out and it'll charge your phone too since my phone is always dying because I'm videoing I think this is gonna help so I think you can pick these up at Walmart for like six or seven bucks I think they even make a four thousand that it would charge anything like five times that was a joke but it's probably charge your session like three and a half times but uh... Um, yeah, it's like seven bucks at Walmart. And I think it's a cool thing to pick up if you video a lot, like I do. And just put it in your backpack for emergency use with your phone. So I just wanted to give you that little tip that I figured out the other day and I ran into this thing. But yeah, I hope these this uh, pocket juice stuff helps you. I, I think I might buy another one, maybe one of the big ones to put in my bag. So when I go on a long trip, it. Um, will just give me a, extra options. You might not use it, and you might. Because I figured, you know, while I'm doing something else, I can throw my session on this, have it charging while I'm multitasking, even though I suck at multitasking. And, you know, also for my cell phone, just stick it out the bottom, and walk around with it, give me a lot more, uh, a lot more juice, because I like the Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and, you know, Twitter. So I run my phone down real fast. So me and Bella, right here, say, say hi to the camera, Bella, say hi. We're fixing to wash this year truck. Give it hell, Bella. Give it hell. For those of you that are wondering, I had to make an intro to my garden vlog. Alright, as you can see, all my stuff is up. But I had a problem with, I guess the seed I got, not all of it came up. And it rained right afterwards really bad, and some of the seed washed away, and I had to replant. So that's why you see all the weeds, because I was trying to make sure I was able to find all the plants that came up before I weeded the garden and didn't get my plants. So you can see the splotches. See the splotch there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, where it didn't come up. And then the collared worms got my dog on. Collar beetles got my dog on collars, but I, I thinned them out and cooked the ones that were good. So now they just got to regrow. But it's doing pretty good. We're gonna eat well this year. Hopefully the squash do well this year. They didn't last year. So I had a bathtub laying around, 
and my mom wanted an herb garden so i filled it full of full of uh dirt from home depot basically it was just like potting soil and stuff and planted mint and ginger and tomatoes and just about everything that was on the variety of cooking in that tub and then these are my plants that i'm going to fill in all the spots over there with so yeah it's awesome tomatoes peppers this row was peppers and didn't come up got jalapenos and tomatoes green beans squash cucumber on the far side collards right in there and then i got some tomatoes over here and whoo, look i even got a banana pepper that is ready to be picked almost look at that and that tomato is almost ready to pick and that one and that one and that one and that one it's looking good people looking good but anyway guys that's all i got today I got to get out to the beach and I got to fish. So let me know if you got any uh, any special somethings for this. Any uh, got any extra information on pocket juice? And um, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Yak Motley. And watch for us to catch some big fish because we're headed out there right now, even though it's been slow. And I'll see you guys next time later.